All right, we're gonna download the uh, we download the first the new show express. Okay, we downloaded the new show express. I'm going to uh, here's the icon for Windows. Uh, it also is available for Mac. I'm not I don't have a Mac, so I'm not quite sure what it's uh, going to look like. Uh, but we're gonna go to through it and just install it real quick. Uh, it's the first time I've installed it on this computer, so you'll kind of get an idea of what's going on. Okay, just the standard setup for installation. As I looked at my other computer, I was able to install it in the same folder and the uh, both Show Express 5.2 and 6.0 uh, you can run on the same computer at the same time. Or not the same time, but um, it doesn't uninstall the other program. So you're, you're good. So you can have practice with the new one and use the old one. So we'll uh, install it right now. Uh, it takes a few minutes to install, uh, then it's quick and up and running. Uh, we'll go over some of the new features that I've found. Uh, it took me a little bit to get my head wrapped around it, but uh, once I did that, it wasn't too bad. So we're finished. Uh, we're going to launch the new Show Express. Okay, that's 5.2, so exit out of that. And then let's try the other one. Okay, here it is. Okay, unblock. All right, now here's the new control board. Uh, really cool. Uh, there's the tools like your old control board. This is for exporting a show, for importing a show. Uh, the new uh, setup screen. The new editor. That's the um, uh, your I can't remember what it's called. The other one. Uh, your live page. Uh, 3D view. Uh, upload scenes to your dongles. And uh, it has a manual, but it's just a test manual. That I guess they haven't created the manual yet, so uh, that's kind of what that is. Uh, okay. okay, I have no idea what that is. Okay, so we're going to launch the uh, setup mode real quick. And as you can see, it's a lot different. Uh, completely different. There's no little buttons to drop down your fixtures. There's no uh, list for your fixtures. Uh, off to the side, it's a little bit different. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to map to my old personal file, and this is how we're going to do it. We're going to go to Open, and this is the. Uh, if you don't have Show Express already, you're going to map to your, uh, say, your American DJ file and go to your whatever uh, fixture you have. If you do already have it, uh, like I do, and a lot of you guys already have, uh, we're going to try to map to. If I can figure out how to map. Uh, we're going to try to map to the your old fixture files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the C drive, program files, and find Show Express, and go to fixture, I believe, and there is private, and that's empty. So that's probably the old. That's the new one. So now I got to figure out where the old one is. I can go to Show Express. Where did I put it? Where did it go? Okay, then go to uh, fixtures uh, for your old uh, from your old Show Express private, and then these are all my profiles from my other uh, from my other. Um, so I'm going to select the top one and shift and see if it'll select all of them, and it doesn't. Oh great! So I'm going to do each one at a time. Okay, so click uh, America Action Spot and hit open, and it loads it into there. So now you can see that the properties are off to the side, and if I hit pan and tilt, it um, gives me the different levels of your gobos. And now also the gobos are really clean too. They got some really nice looking gobos in this one. They have, uh, it's really, it's really nice program. They got it set up really nice. So in the 3D mode, you get to see your icons are really nice, and that's uh, really cool. So I got my AccuSpots in there, so let's remap all this again and go to desktop. So you kind of get the picture on how you uh, start loading your old fixtures. If not, you load your new fixtures from the fixture menu, and you should be good to go there. Um, let me just load one more fixture, so, yeah. and then we. So will, we're just uh, going to go with these two fixtures right now. So uh, that, this is the first step. You go to your fixture. Uh, I have four Acu spots, so I'm going to go to DMX addressing. I'm going to click on my Acu spots, and I believe I right-click on the the name went to add the fixture and I figured this all out by myself so it can't be that difficult um, 
uh, it's going to start at DMX address 1 and I'm going to call it active spot and then I'm going to clone three of them I think that's how I did it, maybe not oh no no, I'm just going to do it at 1 okay and then hit save okay so that added the fixture so now I click on the fixture and right click and duplicate okay and now I want uh, how many uh, duplications do I want? I want three duplications and hit OK and then that automatically put in the next addresses associated with that fixture uh, perfectly for me so that was perfect and then the LED range I'm going to do the same thing uh, right click on the range, add a fixture I'm going to call it uh, par or rain LED. I'm going to call it rain LED. Rain LED uh, 56. And hit save. And right click. And hit duplicate. And I have uh, 21. I think I have 21. I'm going to put 24 just to be kidding. So 23 now to duplicate. Hit OK. Now it just populated all my rain fixtures with uh, seven channels each. So 51 to 58 is seven channels. Um, so there's my rains. And I'm just going to stop there for right now. I'm going to X out of the program. Now you have to X out for it to um, completely for it to take effect. So I X down to the whole program. And then we're going to restart, and now it should show the fixtures in my editor page. And now you can see the fixtures in the editor page. Before I did that, I couldn't see the fixtures before. I didn't know what I was doing wrong until I said, I'm done with this, X'd out, opened it back up, and there they were. So uh, there was a note in the email that I, uh, came out that said that you had to actually go out. It's kind of a bug, but it worked. So in this area right here is the 2D mode. Um, it's a flat mode, and you can select fixtures. These are all the uh, par cans, actually. What they, they don't look like par cans, but that's what they are. And then my moving heads are buried in there somewhere, too. That's the moving head. You can select these as a group. So if you click on it, if you click on the uh, kind of hard, it'll select it as a group, and you notice that on the bottom of the page there, uh, the, one of the reins popped up, number 18 actually popped up. So if you select by holding control and clicking on all these fixtures, uh, looks like you got to double click each fixture. Notice how the, each fixture pops up on the menu. So I'm going to double click away from it and I'm going to go to my moving head. So I'm going to double click on the moving head, hit control, double click on, double click on the moving head. It sec selects the first one, second one, third one, and fourth one. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a group of moving heads. Before you had to save it as a group by typing in just a, a, a designator letter. Okay, but now you can call it whatever you want. You can call it group uh, moving head uh, odd or even. You can call it group moving head whatever you want to do. So you just go to the uh, save button and hit save down here. The group name is moving head. And then hit OK. I think I'll capitalize that. Hit OK. And then it's going to give me a shortcut now. So now if I want to hit moving heads, I hit my shortcut key, which is going to be M, because that's what it was before. And then when I want to select those four moving heads, I just hit M, and it tells me what it is, because now I can see it before it didn't tell me. So that's a pretty cool little feature. OK, so when I want to select all my moving heads, let's X out of this real quick. Uh, I'll see, I just double click. So when I select my moving heads, I go over to the group section, and I click on the uh, double click on the group and bam they're all selected so if I want to adjust all of the uh, colors or turn on all the fixtures at once bam it's right there okay so that's the editor page just kind of in a nutshell right there just real quick for you uh, most of the other uh, different items here are the same uh, if you're creating a scene uh, say you want to put um, the, the, the slider lever up and go to your next scene you just put the slider lever up and add insert a step click right there and it inserts a step okay pretty easy 
So I'm going to X out of this. Well, no, let's see. I'm going to go to the 3D mode. Now, before, when you hit 3D, you could turn it here, and it would launch the 3D mode. It doesn't do that anymore. You actually have to go to your control board, launch 3D, and unblock it because it's connected. And then all your fixtures are, are actually shown up very lightly on the page until you change the color or the room or whatever, if you can notice those. All the fixtures are laid out. So when you go to set up your room, it's just like the old board. Uh, you shouldn't have any problem at all. So uh, I think this video is getting a little long. Let's uh, stop it here. I'll let you guys play with that a little bit. Uh, that's kind of Show Express, uh, kind of just an inter uh, introduction to it. Um, hopefully, you guys get something out of this. Uh, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, DJ Mikey Mike, doing it from scratch with uh, Show Express 6.0. Peace.